Hey guys, welcome to a new game called the Lancaster Leak O'Brien State Park. Apparently this is a found footage type game um, where we're looking for an intern. So let's uh, check it out and see if we can find the intern. Uh, following tape and many others were recovered by the FBI intern Valerie Bardot and given to us. Alright, is Valerie the one that's missing? Even without a trace, she suddenly went missing at the end of her internship in Lancaster, California. I'll play as a is suspected. Okay. So long as Valor is missing, these tapes will continue to be leaked. I give you a chance, and this will be your last. Okay. Interesting. Uh. The information conveyed through this debrief training tape pertains to a prior investigation. Is in yeah, of course. Case number twelve ninety eight seventy six. Tape purpose debrief. 08 25 1988. Clearance TS. Missing persons. Okay. So. Uh, previously inhabited by both Dakota and well, tribes, it is now home to year-round campers and hikers. The park, along with other state parks up north has experienced an increase in animal-like attacks. The cause was unknown until found footage of a missing person, Brady Kaufman, provided by the... <clears throat> August 25th, 1988, Bradley Kaufman, a 59-year-old male, visited O'Brien State Park. Uncompanied uh, subject behavior during his visit was unusual as he intermittently started recording at various times. Medical work records revealed no history of mental health concerns. Subsequently, on August 26th, the subject has reported as missing. His body was discovered on August 30th, and recovered footage from his recording device will now be presented in chronological order accompanied by annotations. I really wish that this is... This is basically for all games, not just this one. I really wish they all would have click or whatever to continue. So you actually have time to read that stuff. Some people don't read very fast. I can read it to myself pretty quick, but you know when you actually try to say it, not so easy. This is interesting. Okay. 10 p.m. The subject initiated recording the reason for their sudden. Okay. The subject would occasionally zoom on certain objects. Fire. Okay, camp. I cannot go in there. What is that? Radio looks like maybe. Okay, that's just a toggle. All right. Um, we just go into the woods. Seems really stupid, but okay, let's go in the woods. Oh, road. Oh. Okay, visible wall. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Rock. Mushroom. All right, let's check out the road. The subject turned right and went to the bathroom to shower. Right. Okay. What am I looking at? Oh, it's just the, it, oh, it's, it's simulating like wind, I guess. I thought it was like tentacles coming out of the ground or something. A whole different game. Tool type stuff. Yeah. You know what? I'd have to say I'm gonna go to bed stinking. I have to walk through the woods. Middle of the night. Can I? Oh, um, I can't. Okay. 
Yeah, I would go to bed smelling like crap now because I just crap myself. Okay. All right. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Because now I do need a shower. Okay, lovely blue flowers. Oh, what do we got here? These are showers? Uh, let's just say yes. I thought it was Valerie. The urinals. Why am I recording in a bathroom? Pulses. Okay, that's not scary. No. Why am I... Oh! Pause one. The subject stops filming, then takes a shower. It is estimated 10 minutes elapsed before the time for the subject. Alright, I'm probably not going to read any more of those. Um, you're going to have to pause the video, read them yourselves. Because I just don't have time to read them out loud. Okay, so I'm guessing my, uh, shower buddy is done. Okay. Okay, but I thought it was still, still I thought it was Valerie. Why was I taking a shower and obviously that would be the men's room? Following me. Right. Is that a machiti? What is that? Subject films a stick on the ground for a long period of time. We do not know why. Alright, well, there's the car with the wheel that honk at me. Alright, still nobody behind me. That's good. Should I be worried about that? Oh, here's the pulsating plants. We're almost to our campsite. I'd totally be sleeping in my car. Windows up. Okay. Who the hell are you? Okay. So there's an unknown subject now. Cool. Make sure you pause this so you can read it. One to two hours time elapsed, okay. Oh, so we went for a hike in the middle of the night. That's smart. That's that's what you do. You just, you hike in the dark. Yes. And obviously I'm being very sarcastic. Don't hike in the dark. I mean, unless you actually have to, but don't do it for recreational. It's not... no. I just see... Okay, the, the speckles of the film... Can you make me think I... Oh, wait, there are those fireflies. Oh, they're supposed to be fireflies. That makes sense. Spence. Sense. Okay. Like, I keep seeing eyes, but... I don't know why. 
There's no run. Not supposed to be a hike, but I'd be running this thing. Back home. I don't do the woods at night. I've heard horror stories of like cougars and stuff stalking people while they're hiking at night. And like going back where they came and finding their footprints with their footprints being stalked. Yeah, no, I'm good. Thank you. I'll hike in the daylight and a group. Maybe, well, not a group, maybe one or two people. Fire tracks. I see off road on these ATVs or something. Okay, why am I, uh. I guess I said there was no reason for it. I just did this. Get a nice shower and then... And then uh, go for a hike. Makes sense. Probably all sweaty before bed. If I survive this night. Okay. What do we got? Is this a clearing? Can't really tell. It's really dark. Not a clearing. Oh. We had ticks. Stay out of the long grass. Oh, water. Pretty sure that was a buck. Sort of a four legged herbivore. I hope. This is why I'm missing. Because I'm an idiot. Unknown subject. Hey, how do they know that the unknown subject isn't the one filming? That's probably bad. Those red things. Are those supposed to be feet or hoofs? <laughs> what? Subject encountered a deceased deer attacked by entity. Oh, okay. The film abruptly ends. The subject attacks the entity in the vicinity. Cool. Uh, this extends distress and it flees off trail. That's, yeah. Anything pursues the subject can be heard in proximity. Subject resumes filling probably four minutes after a pause. This marks the final pause. Okay. Look, do I gotta keep running? The subject is audible for the first time, displaying emotions of fear. Yeah. Subject begins running, shift. It's noble sounds of entities surround him. I thought those were deer and that sounds that was not deer? What does a deer sound like then? Am I going the right way? Oh, I'm just running into the woods. This is smart. I said, anyway, found my videotape. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of entities. Woo! Okay. Hello. Subject struggles against entity, but gets away. The camp mirror is severely damaged. So it drops flashlight, the camera it creates a shadow backdrop. The big blood creeps into frame. Am I being dragged? This name can be heard. Yes, yes, you can. Okay, so I'm not Valerie. We now know that. End of tape.
Riley Coffin's death would occur over the next five minutes, but the remaining footage has been cut short for viewer discretion. National entities can be heard and would later fight over the remains. The footage ends when the camera battery runs out. Autopsy. Remains were found scattered. Most flesh was consumed. Little personal items remain intact. The public was told it was an abnormal bear attack. Bear. Sure, bear. Abnormal. The subject's film was the first footage captured of S012. Ultimately, the subject's footage provided Bueno proof extended funding special operations to contain entities. This case marks the first of many successful entities resolution programs. The time to read that one. <laughs> oh, it's a Wendigo. Okay. Severe risk. Containability three. Is that good or bad? Wendigos are creatures originating from Native American tribes of the Great Lakes region. True. The malevolent supernatural beings bring terror to the forest dwellers and are linked to numerous missing persons cases. All emaciated looking Wendigos bear antlers and possess an insatiable appetite for human flesh. Yes. Because they used to be human. Uh -huh. According to the recent intelligence, there has been a notable resurgence of the Wendigo and their geographic distribution has expanded southwards towards Minneapolis. In response to this emerging threat, the Bureau has established a joint task force in collaboration with the Canadian CIA to take immediate and decisive action to halt the expansion of the species' eventual eradication. It is imperative to maintain strict operational security and keep the general public uninformed of these operations to prevent any unnecessary panic or interference. Sure. Oh, that was it. Okay, that was pretty good. But we never found any intern. So it doesn't end here. That's probably why. So I'm um, probably going to look into this and see if I can find more. I worked as a secretary of a small FBI office and a man in a pink poncho almost killed me. Okay. Okay, that was great. I like that. Uh, it's, it's creepy. Uh, call center. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that's probably the next one. I'll be doing that one soon. But yeah, this was great. I liked it. Lancaster O'Brien State Park. How do you spell O'Brien? I thought it was an A, an E. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments, and you can find the game in the description. Uh, play it yourself, and let me know what you thought. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Thank you for watching.